Hole number one, 220 feet, par three. You have to throw between the two big trees, one of which, the left one, actually got cut down the other week. Um, didn't really matter as a mandatory anyway, it just added a lower ceiling to both the backhand and forehand. But on the grass is inbounds, anything into the landscaping or on the dirt is out. So the play is usually a right hand forehand and fade out onto the lawn. So Caleb opted for that right hand forehand play. Landed about 15 meters out. I threw the same disc, landed about six or seven meters out. Caleb putting with Mick Pro ABRs. Misses left. I hole out with a two. While Caleb cleans up his three. All right, hole number two, 397 feet, par three. You're throwing from a raised tee pad. It's up on this embankment on the edge of the park. This is the first hole that goes out toward the river. And uh, you'll play the next, you know, two through eight are along the river and in the sand. And then eight, you will throw back toward the park. So I uh, hope you brought your water. This is the first part of the desert side of this course. 397 feet, it's out there. Uh, I'm up first because I got a two from the previous hole. And I am throwing backhand, a backhand G-Star Shrike. I don't think it was the best idea, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, definitely threw nose up on that one. Got up under it, faded out early. We'll see if Caleb can do better. So Caleb's gonna line up uh, what I believe is a backhand and we, he has a, a lucid, lucid convict is what he's throwing here. Turns over nice for him. It's got some good flex out of it. Well, despite Caleb's good drive, he doesn't have much of a look at the basket. His drive landed right in these weeds and barely has a look for an upshot. I'm sure he wishes that upshot was even closer. I threw an upshot with a harp, ended up in these bushes as well. I'd straddle out, try to save my three here. Put a little hyzer on it so it would come back. Taking a three on this hole isn't bad. We'll see if Caleb can do the same. Oh, low and to the left, but he manages. Hole number three, 295 feet. Uh, there's a long stretch of fairway, and then at the very end before the basket, there's a cliff. So it's kind of blind. You have to watch your distance, because if you end up short, you're gonna be at the top of the ridge. If you're long, it skips far. So uh, the backhand hyzer is usually the play. The forehand flick, yeah, it's a pretty touchy shot if you forehand, so. Ah, a little short.
Yeah, this is a hard putt right here. If you leave it up too high, it'll sail. The key, I think, is to put nose down. Yeah. Oh. So close. Caleb throwing his spark. Not a bad lie. Just inside the circle. Not a bad shot. Let's see if I can make this putt. Let's see if he ate his Wheaties this morning. No, he did not. <laughs> Just short. Gosh. Leaving the window open for me. Still one down. I got him beat. Couple tap outs and on to hole number four. About the same distance. This one shoots out toward the waterfall of the Virgin River. And if you go long, you're on the rocks there. But uh, the play is generally just a nice hyzer out to the right. Uh, this one's kind of opposite of three in the fact that the fairway is below you the majority of the way. So it drops off that same cliff and then baskets at the end, if that makes sense. Caleb's lining up what looks to be that convict again. Probably shouldn't have thrown that disc on this hole. If I keep that lower, it's going to sail past it. Now my upshot here is absolutely atrocious. <laughs> but... Cut it there at the last second. I, I was hacking a lung because I inhaled something. <laughs> that was bad. It's a mixture of dust and pollen from the from the bush. About ten meters out. Let's see if we can put this in. Oh! Didn't get enough on it. It's a good look. Yeah, that is well within your range. My shot was pretty obstructed, but uh, a couple tap outs for three. Hole number five, 259, par three. This one's one of my favorites. There's really no green fairway. That just designates the straight path you might want to take heading to the basket. This one you can hit with an easy, I don't know, uh, T-Bird or maybe even a, uh, a Rock 3. Looks like I'm throwing a Champion Firebird. Forehand. This one turns over nice for me. Got it real close. Looks like uh, just inside the bullseye. There's Caleb throwing that spark again. Latitude 64 spark. Kind of came out early on him. They had the right distance. Could have kept up a few on this hole. Yeah, what happened right there? Hit a bush or? Yeah, it hit the top of that bush right in front of the basket. Now tell me about this shot. If I missed this, I'd cry. Birdie. Good birdie, good birdie. Good birdie. I'll get you next. On to hole six. So we have 397 tee pad two basket, but it's downhill because we're up on that ridge, so it plays 387, has about 10 feet of carry. Uh, most do a right-hand-backhand uh, 
kind of a hyzer flip out there, get the distance and hyzer back, but you're fighting the bushes. Uh, you do also run the risk of turning over uh, whatever you're throwing into the river. Uh, Caleb and I opt to kind of do a flex forehand and come in from the other side. Right. Yeah, this one didn't turn over as much as I needed. Outside. Faded out early on me. Probably. So I'm throwing the Ballista Prill recently acquired disc. And that turned over very nice for Ooh, me. Oh yeah. Man, that looks like a pretty good shot. <laughs> Might have skipped right up there. That was part. See how close I So here we got the Virgin River. This is kind of our uh it's, it's summer, beginning of summer, so the uh, water's not very high. So if you land in there, it's, uh, it's not too bad. I'm lining up what I thought was the safest of safe shots with my lefty backhand. Get in! <laughs> Dang it! Caleb's park nice. job on hole six. Looky there. Look at this shot, folks. That's just outside the bullseye it's here. It's not bad. It's a nice flick right there. Just don't miss it, huh? Most people play it safe because the river's behind the basket, but not Caleb not today. Me. I live life on the edge. Very nice. Oh, a little high. <laughs> so my bogey four against Caleb's birdie two takes us to hole number seven. And through the jungle. Okay, hole number seven. So we're playing along this ridge now. So you run the risk of throwing left over the ridge. So you want to stay on top and uh, the closer you get to the basket, the closer you are to that ridge. So it's kind of a, a, a tricky hyzer. If the wind picks up, you can uh, glide on over the ridge. So it's not fun coming back. So Caleb's lining up a backhand with his titanium buzz. Gets it a little high. And he's over the ridge. Yeah, I didn't put enough on that one. Kind of sallied it up there. Thought I could show him how to do it. This is the way to do it right here. Lining up my pink titanium buzz. And don't know what happened. Hey there, neighbor. Well, I think we both went off the little cliff here. Making it nigh impossible to get a two. This should be a gimme two every time. This whole course probably should be, but still challenging. can't see the basket from down there. It's a pretty difficult shot. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> oh Nick the top. Yeah, that was just so close. That's a blind shot, too. Yeah. I can see the basket. If that went in, I was going to die. Man. Yo, 
Yeah, we got Pikachu in our ear. A lot of birds around here. Show you how it's done. Ugh. Ooh, a little short. This is hole number eight. It's about 272 feet. Didn't your friend ace this one the other day? Yes, he did. He lofted one up there and went uh, as high as the that pine tree that you see to the right of the basket. Crashed in. Didn't hit any chains. <laughs> no chains at all. Dunked it right in the basket. Pretty cool shot. Haven't seen an ace before that. That was my first time. What happened there? Same thing as last hole. Left it up too high and I think you just didn't didn't get around on it. It look, looks like your your stance wasn't closed off, but I don't know if mine is much better here. It felt good out of the hand. It just didn't didn't turn over the way I, I needed it to. Left. Circle's edge though. Be pretty close to each other over there. Unless mine didn't get over the bushes. Is oh. mine behind? <laughs> oh, Spoiler. I need to hit the weight room. <laughs> Goodness. This is a good shot of my backside. My money maker. Ooh. Caleb's out. Tried to flick that one in there. It yeah, pretty, it was pretty close. The shot was pretty contested. Just needed to get a little higher there. <clears throat> that little pink thing sticking out of the ground is Circle's Edge. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there are a couple holes where uh, where the circle's been marked off. Now we've got hole nine. This one's more of the more difficult ones on this course because there's a lot of out of bounds. Everything to the left of the sidewalk and the sidewalk. Yeah, for is for league play, we only play that center fairway area safe on the grass, so it's pretty tough. But fun, nonetheless. I'm flicking my Ballista Pro again, the same one that I breed six with. I don't want it to turn over too much or else I'll be out of bounds, it looks like. Oh yeah. And then it just to the right of wow. the, the sidewalk over there. <laughs> that, was a, high. that was a solid shot. I, It's really hard to get it that far down and to the right of the sidewalk. Yeah. Mine stayed in just barely. Best shot I thought was just going underneath this tree, so. You got a few taller trees there, so it's hard to eyes or flick it. Safe. That looked like to, to be the best shot there. And you nailed it. There's a little bird sitting on the basket, waiting for Caleb's disc. There's a little birdie right on the Let basket. Me see. Yep, right there. Wow. Yep. He'll move. <laughs> <laughs> that 
little birdie moved for my birdie. Oh yeah! Woo! Okay, let's see how far this is. This is a nice shot. 17 meters, folks. That was a nice hit. Okay, can I talk to you a little bit? Nice shot. Hole number 10 coming up. It's 322 feet, surrounded by a few pine trees. Pretty hard to get up into Circle's Edge there because of those. You've got parking lot to the left, which is OB. And so if you're going with a backhand, you need to make sure that you turn something over. over those pine trees to the right and then fade left. I uh, see like that, but a little more right. See, it, if it fades out early into the road, you're gonna get in trouble. If you do this, it will. See, I get tongue tied too. But I, I let go of it early. It didn't turn over enough. Dad, Can you believe you, that? Dad, you wear that shirt today. What? I, oh, yeah. I only have two shirts, so I guess I did. You have wear that shirt today. Yeah. That's a long putt there, sir. That was further out than Uncle Caleb's. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Victory dance. Dad, you did it. I know. I know. I'm amazing. Child's hero until they you turn 16. You are mama's hero. Yeah. Okay, let's let's look at Caleb's. Quiet on the set. Oh. Nice putt, Uncle Caleb. Nice, very nice. Ooh, is that one? So Daddy likes to play it forehand and go wide left and it fades right. Hey, Dad, what is this on the grass? Um, those, uh, that's... No, these. Oh, that's where Daddy colored green, and he calls it the unfair way because it's always just full of weeds. If you throw your disc in there, it's unfair instead of fair. Does that make sense? Yeah, yes. Are you, are you sure or you're just saying yes to move on? Um, let's move on. Okay, we'll move on. See, uh, that was okay. Actually, oh, it's looking nice. Yeah, that's, that's not a bad throw. Oh. Yeah, that okay, we got Caleb, Titanium Buzz. 262 feet, approximately. Nice and low. Skips up there. I think he's just circle's edge, if if not closer. Nice hit. Are you trying to go that low? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not bad, not bad. What do we got? 13 meters out. So these weeds that I'm stepping in, they're pretty prickly, and so it's pretty it's messing up the concentration. Right. Uh huh. And That's, as you can see, it affected my shot. <laughs> as he doinks another one off I the could. cage. Parking it up. A little long. We'll see how he fares. Oh, I'm lucky you're missing those, or else you'd be crushing me. Yeah, what's that? Three putts that I, I missed so far? I think you've left three out there. Looks like I know what I'm working on next time we go to the course. A turbo putt. Oh, Nails yeah. it! Well, I'll take that. Nice shot. clock it's at the top of a clock Yay. yeah number 12 so short and sweet but uh 
they're must-get birdies. If you don't, you lose a stroke to the field, I swear. We are roughly 194 feet to the basket. Parker's throwing his justice. Feels short. A little short. Caleb's a little off the beaten path, a little long, but that's okay. I've seen him make it from there before. Ooh, oh, oops. so close, huh? Is that Caleb's? Yep, that was Caleb's throw. Mm. Six meters out. So I was really confused because mine hit behind the bush and it was straight on, and then it must have back rolled to that eight meter point. Yeah. That's what it looked like to me. Uh. We got another uh, short hole. This one's a little more uh, forgiving. Uh, it seems the backhand putter shot is the shot, so. I got Parker backhanding his S-line P2. Yeah, I sawed that one off. Weak a little sauce. short. Here's Caleb, hole 13, thrown as a McPro AVR. That's the line he wanted. This is what we get to play in. We call this the crooked basket. I don't know why. You could call it a headbanger, but the basket's a little high. Nice shot. Oh, yeah. Let's find. Oh, P2, back here. Just inside the circle. Get in. Ah. Can you say obstructed putt? Obstructed putt. <gasps> That's pretty good. 14. 14, 377 feet. I'm gonna measure this one with my GPS. I think it's a lot longer. It's uphill, so it, it's hard to get it there. The backhand, uh, the window for a backhand is just not there. If it is, you end up turning it over into the river. But uh, the forehand play, just like nine, it's, uh, it's, it's a forehand hole. And that's my Ballista Pro again. Just flippy enough. Just oh, yeah. enough. That's looking nice. perfect. Yes. That is looking perfect. Go. And everyone can look away right now. It's probably the worst throw I've ever done. <laughs> Don't worry, Parker. I've seen worse. <laughs> oh, I'm not as quick as you <laughs> dumb I think I am. <laughs> I'll let it slide. Okay. okay, cut to the next scene. I know I got a. I just was not playing this hole very smart. It's a little long right there, but you got a wide open shot on the back side. 14 meters to the basket. That might be a new personal best. shot is money. Yeah, wide open. I better nail this. Well, you got a track record of Sally and all your putts, so let's let's pray for another one of those. It's not. It's oh, not. misses just right. I feel like that bush to the right's gonna. Like gonna okay. save his bogey. Just like that. Little obstructed. About eight meters out. Very nice. Good shot. Yeah, that was, uh, I had to go really high and dip down, so. Hole 15. This one's a nightmare if you, go, if you are anywhere right or left or short or even long. OB long to the parking lot, left in the brush, right in the rocks, 
short in the weeds and trees. Uh, this this hole will eat your discs. If you don't shoot it perfectly, you're done for. Done for. It's right behind the two pine trees that are dead center. If you split the gap, you can skip up, or you can uh, hyzer flick, you know, left to right, or uh, the right hand backhand is pretty tough. Seeing how there's that big, uh, big tree halfway up the middle. Parker throwing his champion Firebird forehand. Some good flex out of that. That should have skipped on the grass or at least been right under that pine tree. Yeah, it looked like a pretty good throw. Look at that. Oh, man. It rolled. It rolled back down, huh? It rolled all the way back down. There's a down. curb right in front of the basket that it must have hit. Just right like there. that. Hey. I, I swear I hit that curb <laughs> twice. Caleb for par. Parker for par. I'll take a three. That's not bad. And we got a hole 16. It's one of the longer holes that we've got at the park. I'm not going to lie, I hate this one. It's pretty tough. Uh, you've got out of bounds, everything to the right of the, the sidewalk and to the parking lot. So you, you've got a line of trees right in front of the tee pad that you've got to, to deal with as well. So uh, you can try and go up and to the left, uh, flick it up there, or you could try and backhand and go around the trees. You've just got to be careful of the, the basketball court up there. Okay, here we have Caleb, hole 16, backhanding his Ballista Pro. Nice and low, nice skip, and we're safe on the grass. Parker taking the unconventional route, so it's almost a safer route to go. Oh, I cut that way too close. <laughs> Seriously, way too close. But it works out for you. Anything to the left is uh, is in. Parker throwing 45 meters out. That basket right over there. Not the basketball hoop. The one in between the trees. We're playing disc golf. Going as justice. Oh, it's uh. off the tree and rolls back just a little. Yeah, there's no, no way through that thick pine tree. Here's Caleb's lie. He's about 25 meters out. Pin is right behind that pine tree. Skips up his Mako. Oh, a touch long. You might have a tester fighting that other tree, but we'll see. Parker putting with his wedge, trying to turn it over. Get around that tree. Okay, from here, this shot looks so easy. For the record, <laughs> it was a complete nightmare. Oh, I had to go out and around so fast. That's long. impressive to at least hit the cage. Like it should have gone it's in. A, it's a pretty wide tree. It was a little, little higher. And pretty wide. Would have had it. On to mine. There's Caleb's upshot. He's got a pretty obstructed lie. I'm glad I stretched before we, we came out. Yeah, Caleb's using every inch of those 20 centimeters <laughs> behind his disc there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hole 17, 440 feet. I GPS this one just the other day. It's actually 446 feet, very flat. Uh, if you have a right hand backhand and you turn it over into the splash pad and hit a little chickadee, you are dead meat. Do not go in the splash pad. Do not land on the sidewalk. You wanna land in the open grassy area 
or if you can and have a cannon for an arm go bomb one to the dirt all right hole 17 caleb backhanding his g-star shrike 440 feet we'll see if we can get get it out there That was a pretty nice throw. Oh, it, oh, if he's on the sidewalk, he's OB. If he's in that planter, he's fine. That's pretty far. Lucid defender, forehand. Turns it over, looks like he's gonna be right next to mine. So here at Pine View, one third of the holes are on this grassy area, and two thirds are out in the brush and along the river. So we're thankful to be back on grass. It's a lot cooler. Well, Caleb and I had pretty good drives. 112 meters ish. My defender, his Shrike, which is barely in bounds because of this uh, planter area, all splash pad and sidewalks are out so uh we'll see what uh how that plays out turned it over <laughs> right into the tree now he's got a circle's edge putt it's nothing he can't make 12 meters out let's see it Okay, let's keep these uh, outside the circle putts uh, going here, Caleb. Step your wish is my command. Oh, just short. Ah. Man, if I would have hit one of them. Here's Parker for par. Knocks it down. Yeah, he'd be smoking me right now. Ties up, Caleb. Hole number 18, 266 feet out. This is a fairly easier hole. Fairly easier, maybe I should go back to school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're flaring the, the snack and the getting it there, you do it in the place. Yeah, so it's just how it's played. You, go. you know. Blah! Okay, <laughs> tongue tied. So there's often people playing at the pavilion and the park and whatnot. So if you backhand something into the pavilion, you're in trouble. But uh, if you have a forehand, you can usually hang it over the pavilion and it fades right. So that's kind of what we did. Thanks for watching our video. We're on to hole 18. We're no professionals, but I uh, thought you might like uh, to see different courses throughout the United States. This is definitely a unique one. Pine View here in St. George, Utah, Pine View Park, 18 holes, bring your water, it's toasty out. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. This is a decent shot. Yeah, that dog almost went for my disc. I <laughs> thought I was playing, nice shot, playing catch with him. Okay, here's Caleb, hole 18, flicking his Latitude 64 spark. Oh, kind of seemed like you didn't get behind yeah, that I one like you wanted enough. to. Okay, we got a putt off. Tied at three down. We're both uh, just inside the circle. Looks like Caleb's a little further out. So why make this putt? Why not just stay with the, the trend? Oh, he leaves it short for me. <laughs> and a half a stroke for throwing his mini. <laughs> Caleb just holing out before I throw. See if I can take the W. Here's Parker. For his birdie shot, 
he sinks it, he beats me by a stroke. If he misses, we play off. Let's hope he misses. Oh! oh. I was hoping some of my putts would rub off on you. You got me this time. Next time you won't get so lucky. We all know if, if you would have made those putts, you would have beat me. <laughs> in, a, in a perfect world, yes, you would have been eight down, but... It was an okay round, though. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Three down, two, anything anything under par on this course is, is pretty good. You know, it's nothing for these 1,000 rated players and above, but they probably shoot nine down, 10 down regularly, if not 11 down. But anyway, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and uh, we'd love to throw around with you if you're ever visiting Southern Utah or St. George specifically. Yeah, come out and play. It'll be a good time, so. Thanks, guys.